nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here. Okay, so if you have an Apple Watch like I do here, you probably know that these devices from time to time get over the air software updates, and with new updates comes new features and changes. So a lot of people when a new update comes out they want to upgrade and test out the latest and newest features for the apple watch but as much as these devices are upgraded there's also a number of users that are always looking forward to getting back to the previous version or restoring their devices when things don't always go as planned so in this video i'm going to be specifically showing you how you can downgrade your apple watch devices from a newer version to an older version and this method that i'm showing you today can apply from watch os 10 to watch os 9 or whatever version you are on and you want to go to an older version of the apple watch or if your apple watch is stuck in the boot loop and you want to recover or restore it or in a sense if it's stuck in a dfu mod you can also use this method to be able to recover and restore your information and your device right here i have two watch devices one is on watch os 10 and this one is on watch os 9 so this is the apple watch series 7 and this is the apple watch ultra and the series 7 is special for this video and i'm using it as an illustration because starting with the apple watch series 7 and newer all the way up to the apple watch ultra apple watch series 9 and apple watch ultra 2 whatever is latest at the moment starting from the series 7 and newer there used to be a hidden diagnostic port that was located on the bottom of the band slot that was used by apple and other third party people to be able to troubleshoot and restore the apple watch over a wired connection with a special two and with a series 7 and going forward that was actually removed so that was replaced from the series 7 going forward with a new 60.5 gigahertz wireless data transfer module and that module is only activated when the apple watch is placed on an appropriate magnetic dock with a corresponding 60.5 gigahertz module and that resulted in one advantage for the apple watch because it upgraded the dust rating of the apple watch devices from the series 7 going forward to a dust resistant rating of ip68 and this module isn't actually advertised publicly on apple's website that allows you to trigger that 60.5 gigahertz on your apple watch so say for example you have an apple watch series 7 series 8 or newer and you upgrade your device to like a beta or a new software that you want to test out and it happens that your device gets stuck in the boot loop or things don't go as planned for you to be able to recover your information well, as of now at the time of this recording you actually have to send your device to apple and then apple has the devices that will trigger that 60.5 gigahertz for the device and they will be able to restore and recover your information so this is a warning for those that don't want to have the inconvenience because when you take your device or your watch in apple usually takes about five days on average but that can always go further depending on your country and region and on other many factors but for those that have the series six and older you can actually remove one of your band the band that has the serial number close to it and once you do that you'll be able to see a pin where you can remove a plastic cover and you'll be able to see your watch's model number and you'll be able to see that hidden port where you can use or buy a dongle and be able to troubleshoot and restore or downgrade your apple watch series 6 or series 5 or older and just to put it out there sometimes the connectors that are required to connect to the apple watch series 5 might be different to those that connect to the series 4 series 3 series 2 and older so if you are if this is something that you're going to be attempting make sure you do your research and buy the one that it's actually for the exact apple watch series that you want to troubleshoot or downgrade and then once you do that now that you know the connection or the hidden port is there just connect the two and you'll be able to access and be able to troubleshoot your device 
Keep in mind that for you to downgrade, you actually need a MacBook that has Finder or iTunes, or if you have Windows, then you need a laptop or a Windows computer that has iTunes installed and you need to download the IPSW file for the software that you want to downgrade to and once you do that go to this website choose the platform and in this case since we're talking about the Apple watch choose the Apple watch and then once you've chosen the Apple watch choose the series of the Apple watch that you want to downgrade and you can see here they have the IPSW file from the Apple watch series 5 and older and Please note that when you are downloading the IPSW file type, the size does matter. So Series 544 and Series 540 and the LTE, or if you just have the GPS model only, then keep in mind that there's a different file that you have to download. So it's really important to know the exact version or series of your Apple Watch that you have. And you can see it goes all the way to the Apple Watch Series 1 and it goes to the Apple Watch 38 millimeter, the little tiny old one. And once you've done that, for example, if you choose the Apple Watch Series 5 right here, you can see the signed version that are available. And watchOS, that will be watchOS 6.3. And this is the build number for it. These ones that you see in red here are unsigned. So you don't want to download these red ones. You want to download any of the green signed over the air updates for example watchOS 6.3 if you click on it right there you see it will give you the download file once you've downloaded the file to your mac or windows computer then in when you connect your watch using the dock to your computer finder or itunes will pop up and when you go to click where it says check for an update or do a software update you want to hold shift and then that will allow you to do like a downgrade by selecting the file that you would have downloaded and in that case instead of doing an update you'll be doing a downgrade and you'll be able to restore your watch after doing that and after you've done that you can also update your watch to the latest available version once it's out of the boot loop version and that is basically how it's done hopefully you find this video helpful in a way and uh, if you did do hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I come to paralyze the leader red Rumors antagonize the dinner dates Some devastation from the paper pen I make the papa leader red I only meditate some kill it Vanilla don't spill the conscious Steal the kids Once was affected I no longer breathe I'm wide awake in the atmosphere Solitary sick and tired of waving Seated like the Navy We don't like to try to split Conversations flipping on the Bible page